Christian with Collision Hub, and we're back live on the SEMA floor 2011, and I found a really special Aussie to come in and talk to you a little bit. David Newton Ross from the National Collision Repair Magazine, Australia, New Zealand, has joined us at SEMA 2011. David, thanks for coming across the big pond. I always enjoy coming here. Right. Now, you didn't experience. come alone. You brought a big contingency with you this year. Yeah. Tell me a little bit of how that happened. Well, I, I called Vegas first and organized more beer because the Aussies were coming in. Uh, it came about we had our major trade show this year in um, in May, and a gentleman from an insurance company came up and said uh, we want to organise a tour to the US, do some shop tours, and, and uh, are, are any shows on? So we said, well, Seamus on, and we told him what that was all about, and he said we're bringing 30 people with us. Wow! It ended up as 54. Wow! And then there were a lot of hangers on, as you probably saw around the show. Right. Uh, yeah. Hangers on with hangovers, but, but uh, they've really enjoyed the experience and. Uh, from my perspective, uh, going back 25 years of, of doing NACE and other similar shows, this year the buzz is back, I feel, for this show. It's, it's, it's much bigger than it was last year. Lots of people around, vendors are all happy. And the guys from Australia, some of them didn't know what to expect. It's just been an amazing experience. So, guaranteed next year a lot more people coming. Wow, that's a great thing to bring up, though, when you said that it actually started as a movement from the insurers to come oh, and yeah. check out the show. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the insurers. Uh, some insurers uh, work well with, with the industry and, and some don't. And at this particular insurance company, uh, Suncorp, uh, they organize a study tour. They've actually got a three-year program together to deal uh, on, a, on a better on a level playing field with the industry. And this was their first move into that area. And they're assigned, uh, you know, they expected 30 people. Wow. Oh, that's a great sign of interest. Yeah. Now, sometimes some of the things that bring us together, uh, you know, regardless of what culture we are, our joys and our pains, and in collision and repair, we seem to have some issues and some struggles. Uh, what are maybe some of the issues and struggles for collision repairs in Australia that you're finding are similar to what we're facing here? Okay, well, uh, similar to here uh, is steering, uh, which is which always goes on in one form or another. Uh, the difference between here and uh, Australia is that we have two major insurance companies controlling between 80 and 90 percent of the market. So that's that's a real problem. You can't spread your risk. So you have to deal with, with those. The um, uh, right to repair is a major issue right now. That, that's uh, we're following on for what you did over here. But the problem we see is uh, you know, unless it's government regulated, uh, you know, uh, it really doesn't work. So we're trying to get government regulation as opposed to what you've got here where the suppliers uh, or the manufacturers say we'll make material available. And it really is available, I suppose, over here. We just can't get it. So that's a major problem. And uh, non-genuine parts is a, is a real issue you have here. We don't really uh, have that too much in Australia right now. So as you've walked the show, which I've seen you kind of running around, and we've been passing each other yeah. all week, yeah. What are some of the things that you've seen that you were maybe looking for more information on or that you were excited to find while you were here at SEMA? Well, I think that the, uh, the waterborne revolution is, is still gathering momentum. And, uh, and you know, the problem again with that is that in the industry, uh, certainly in Australia, there are three reasons why people should change. Uh, one is to do the right thing. Secondly is uh, the government says so. And thirdly, the insurance company says so. So until the insurers and the government say you've got to go water down, it is going to happen. Most people. But the early, early adopters, sure, they, they, they move their water down and they're very happy. So, uh, so that's a major thing. And I think the, um, on the marketing side, the customer service side, uh, what you did the other day on um, Facebook and social media, um, you know, I'm an old guy and, uh, and we discussed this the other day and I said, well, I don't know, but now, uh, yeah, you've convinced me. So I'm taking that message back through the magazine to say, you need to look at this. It isn't, it, as I found from you, the demographics, it isn't just the young people, it's more the older people. Right. And, and the, as you said, they're the ones having the accidents. Right. That's what we want to have, you know, because the younger kids maybe haven't got the children. So right. we don't want those guys in. Oh, yeah. that's really exciting. I'd, be, yeah. I'd love to be able to see some of those shops on Facebook where I can follow them and kind of keep track more of what's going on in Australia by following their shops and yeah. getting to know them as individuals. That'd be really exciting for me. So. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see how many we can, uh, we can convince. Hopefully you know, we'll the, talk the, about the, the early adopters will, will, yeah. will get on there, yeah. Well, Dad, I really appreciate the group that you've brought. I've enjoyed meeting them, interacting with them, and kind of learning about collision repair in different countries and in different segments. You know, we all kind of sometimes share the same battles and the same fits. So I'm going to let you get back to the show. I know you got a lot left to see and you got to get all these Aussies wrangled up, which means 
you got a lot of bars to go visit around Vegas to gather everybody up to get out of here. So yeah, but I mean, I told the guys before they came here that you know what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But now you've convinced me what happens in Vegas goes on Facebook and, and YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, that's right. So and watch I, out, guys. I've watch got out. some hidden cameras everywhere. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be back just a little bit later. Still looking for some more innovative products, some things that we can show you to affect your business, and maybe even share a little bit of information to take you to that next level in 2012. Thanks.